Can you ready? American entrepreneur, investor, and editor Robert D. Arnott aptly noted that, quote, Inve in investing what is comfortable is rarely profitable. As a manager of over $160 billion worth of institutional investment assets, Mr. Arnott understands the importance of a profitable investment decision, which is why we stand resolved Bitcoin is a better investment than the stock market. This leads us to our first observation. Observation number one. Uh, Bitcoin Investopedia defines Bitcoin as, quote, a digital currency created in 2009. Bitcoin offers the promise of lower transaction fees than traditional online payment mechanisms and is operated by a de decentralized authority unlike government-issued currencies. Oxford, Oxford Dictionary defines better as, quote, more desirable, satisfactory, or effective. Uh, quote, an investment is an asset or item that is purchased with the hope that it will generate income or appreciate in the future. In an economic sense, an investment in the purchase of goods that are not consumed today, but are used in the future or create wealth. In finance, an investment is a monetary asset purchased with the idea that the asset will provide income in the future or will, will later be sold at a higher price for a profit. Quote, the stock market is where you can buy, sell, and trade stocks in any business day. It's also called a stock exchange. Stocks allow you to own a share, own a share of a public corporation. The stock price is based on the corporation's earnings. If the company does well, or even if everyone thinks the company is going to do well, the stock price goes up. Also, many companies give a dividend payment each year to the stockholders, which provides extra value. Uh, currency is, quote, circulation as a medium of exchange. The blockchain is, quote, the technological platform used to transfer Bitcoin from one party to another. With our key definitions established, allow us to examine the weighing mechanism in a uh, criterion. The criterion or weighing mechanism by which the judges ought to use to judge this round is profitable advancement. When the affirmative demonstrates how an investment in Bitcoin yields a more lucrative return compared to the stock market, an affirmative ballot is justified. Allow us to move on to our next ob observation, advocacy. Don't just take our word for, for a wise investment. Uh, observation number three is advocacy. Um, the cryptocurrency sector is a flourishing industry with loads of potential. News BTC is a premier news and resource platform working since October 2013 to bring quality news content, reviews, technical analysis, and other unique insights to the ever-growing cryptocurrency community. Quote, speaking at the Computer History Museum, Google Chairman and former CEO Eric Schmidt had some good things to say about Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a remarkable cryptographic achievement, he said on the panel. The ability to create something which is not duplicable in the digital world has enormous value. And while Schmidt wasn't exactly singing praises with regard to Bitcoin's implementation as a currency, he sees this technology as important. The Bitcoin agriculture architecture, literally the ability to have ledgers which can, can't be replicated, is an amazing advancement. He continued, lots of people will build business on top of that. Schmidt isn't the only person at Google who sees potential in Bitcoin. Just recently, Google Director of Ideas, Jared Cohen, said that cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin are inevitable. With the understanding that our plan is backed by advocates, advocates who recognize the inherent value of Bitcoin, we present one enormous and very simple advantage to our case in advantages, which are a great at profit return. It's time. Perfect. Do I finish? No, you're out of time. Okay. Okay. All right. So now we'll hear from the first negative. Okay. Did I just start? Hmm? Did I just start? Sure. Okay. Um, Alex and I negate uh, the results of point of the better investment in the stock market. Um, going by your definitions, um, according to the Bitcoin website, uh, the official website, uh, Bitcoin is a consensus network that enables a new payment system and a completely digital money. Um, it is a first. It is the first decentralized peer-to-peer -peer payment network that is powered by its users with no central authority or middleman. Um, it is important to note that during the argument, uh, we are only talking about Bitcoin and no other uh, cryptocurrencies like 
uh, like Coin Ripple and so on. Um, um, better, I agree with your definition, is more attractive, appealing, effective, and useful, and a more advantageous or effective. Um, so, with this debate, we were talking about whether Bitcoin is more effective and more useful than the stock market. Mm -hmm. um, investment is, um, quote, the outlay of money, usually for income or profit. Um, there's a point of distinction because we need to focus on whether Bitcoin or the stock market is more effective in gaining income or profit for an individual. Um, according to the Economic Times, um, the stock market is defined as, quote, a place where shares of public listed companies are traded. The primary market is where companies float shares to the general public in an initial, in, in initial public offering IPO, IPO uh, to raise capital. Um, observation, um, the content negates the resolution by saying that the stock market is a, is a more effective and useful investment than Bitcoin. Um, although the stock market is not always as, sta as stable, is more stable than Bitcoin will ever be. Um, Bitcoin is a more um, the stock Bitcoin is not a more sound investment than the stock market um, because it is decentralized means that the government um, has no control over the market and Bitcoin's uh, volatility, volatility is dangerous for investors. Um, it is dangerous in a sense that the investor's money can easily be stolen in the form of Bitcoin, leaving the uninsured investor devoid of his investment. Um, Bitcoin investment is also supports the illicit purchases of some criminal users, such as drugs or child pornography. Um, Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies may be interesting new technology, which could eventually improve daily transactions, but for the most part it is too volatile and unsafe to be used as a speculative uh, investment tool. Um, another disadvantage is that Bitcoin is not a way to make income or profit like the stock market is. Um, quote, there is no lending or borrowing in the Bitcoin world, not even for the short term short term, short terms, like 30 days. Nobody will embrace a, a currency that cannot be borrowed or lent in. All of this means that for Bitcoin to achieve this big assumption that investors have um, to continue growing rapidly in price is to fail at another goal, to become a widely adopted currency. Um, quote, this may be obvious, but as a form of money, Bitcoin might be the most intangible stuff in history. Even, for, even paper money or securities can be presented to a central bank or company in hopes that someone will redeem it. No such, not such, no such possibility with Bitcoin. Digital currency is just a piece of code out there on the internet. Um, and there is no country or company who will ask to honor it. Um, proponents of Bitcoin um, might say that decentralization of currency and is Bitcoin's greatest attribute, but you can invest in a system that allows for freedom in online markets without a third party to facilitate transactions, such as a bank. However, this freedom comes at a price of security. Um, investors in Bitcoin have lost millions of dollars due to online heists pulled, pulled by elite hackers. Imagine losing your money in an uninsured market. The risk outweighs the benefits of more freedom and buying power and shows why investment in Bitcoin um, are unwise. Additionally, um, Bitcoin value can rise or fall between 5 and 10% on any given day. This volatility is further evidence that the investment in Bitcoin is dangerous. Um, furthermore, according to BlackRock, an investment management company, cryptocurrencies aren't just several times more volatile than U.S. stock, mar stock markets. They are more than twice as volatile as stocks were during the worst of the financial crisis when massive swings in both directions were basically a daily occurrence for months. Um, also, in real the reality is Bitcoin is uh, too slow compared to Visa or debit cards and transaction fees are rising. Right now you can pay a fee and wait 10 minutes for your Bitcoin. Alright, that's time. It's time for our grand crossfire. No, our first crossfire. Yes. Megan, this is you and Raul. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, can you provide one example of Bitcoin used for child pornography? Um. There have been several cases. I don't have one right on me right now. Um, but there have been cases where um, people use it just because it's decentralized. It's easier to use Bitcoin as... Or something like that. Okay. 
Uh, is it abnormal for stock prices to fluctuate in the stock market? Yes, but not as much as Bitcoin. Um, the highest that Bitcoin has gotten is to a value is twenty thousand, um, which is a lot less than the stock market has ever been. Um, Dwyer finds um, in 2014 finds that the average monthly uh, vol volatility of Bitcoin is higher than that uh, for s gold or set of foreign currencies, and the lowest monthly vol volatilities for Bitcoin are less than the highest monthly vo volatility for gold and currencies. This high um, volatility shows how unsafe investment with um, Bitcoin can be. You can ask questions also. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, by flourishing, um, in your definition, what did you mean by Bitcoin is flourishing? Um, I don't think that I said flourishing. Um, I said it's a digital currency created in 2009. It offers the promise of lower transaction fees that traditional online payment mechanisms and is oper operated by a decentralized authority. Unlike the issued currencies. Okay. Um, and concerning non um, Bitcoin is not, um, how would you deal with elite hackers um, and people who, who are able to basically steal those Bitcoins? Um, um, and it is a traditional online payment mechanism, so it's. Um, it's like government issued currencies, but it's not the same, um, I guess, structured like a government currency. So. Um, you're not sure? That was my answer. Hmm? That was my answer. Okay. 30 seconds. Uh, what is blockchain? Blockchain. 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 Oh, it's the technological platform used to transfer Bitcoin from one party to another. All right, that's the end of our crossfire. Now it's time for our second set of speeches. That's a part of the speech, right? You want me to go ahead and start the time for your speech? Sure. Yeah. Okay, yeah. All right. Um, so, first of all, the, for that, for that thing with like Bitcoin, mm -hmm. uh, first of all, it was uh, perceived as a really volatile uh, investment, and likely so, but as the market don't mature, um, you can tell that the volatility has been decreasing, and this, uh, you can definitely um, you know, get the origins or the credit books on it. Balance.com, which is a website known mm -hmm. for its investments and uh, the well um, publicized uh, profits that you can receive in investments. Uh, something I would like to do again is the fact, the fact that you said the stock market's uh, more stable than the Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. uh, in 2008, the stock market did crash, and uh, as a result, a lot of investors lost their stock. So to say the stock market is more, is more stable than Bitcoin is Bitcoin and the stock markets are just as risk, uh, are both big risks. Okay? Uh, you have big investors say, big investors actually take bigger risks. So, uh, definitely, the uh, stock market is uh, just as big a risk as Bitcoin. So, there's no way it's unfair to say Bitcoin is more risky than the stock market. Uh, to say that the stock market has yielded more, uh, Investments in Bitcoin is a little far fetched again because if you look back in the past five years, Bitcoin has actually yielded more stocks or more investment than the big uh, five stock companies Facebook, um, uh, Amazon, uh, Netflix, and Google. So, you, I would like to keep doing that. And, uh, definitely more companies are accepting Bitcoin. Okay, you said it's very place that it's like Bitcoin. No, Bitcoin is a growing, it's actually a universal language. Now, to go to the profitability of Bitcoin, um, let's talk about the profit. So, if you invest in Bitcoin, say, back in the uh, in 
2010. As of today, you'll be spending on $28,341,266. Now, let's look at this as a student point of view, right? If we had invested Bitcoin back then, a lot of us would not be in uh, student debt right now. So it's definitely a good investment, and right? way better investment than uh, the stock market. So it's the stock market that take up to, it's, it's a long process and it's very time consuming. Also, choosing a stock is very diff difficult because there's a lot of stocks out there, so you have to do a whole lot of research, and that's time consuming. Plus, you couldn't even know if your own money is going to purchase the stocks, which, like it happened in 2008, you might lose all your stocks. Uh, with, come, with Bitcoin comes ace of trade. You know, buying Bitcoin has uh, little to minimal fees. The whole transaction process is fast, hustle free, and non reversible, which is a good thing. Um, most cases, I, I've been a victim of fraud, especially with Visa cards. I go to a store, I pay, and before I go back home, they steal my money. And Bitcoin prevents that if we use Bitcoin as a currency. Okay? Uh, it is non reversible. Uh, to add on to that, you tell the merchant, you give the merchant exactly how much you want to pay. So it's not it's not a case of the merchant getting money out of your credit card. It's a case of you telling the merchant how much you should get, and that's it. So I feel like at the end of the day, Bitcoin will be uh, uh, is a more safer way and definitely more uh, profitable. When it comes to being decentralized, the government is not involved in this. Therefore, we have control of our money. Um, um, we take all profits. Bitcoin is not taxable. We've been also trying to tax Bitcoin, but I just don't see that happening. So it's definitely uh, a good thing that we get to control our own money, and everything comes to us. Um, again, it's important to note that Bitcoin is becoming a worldwide uh, universal currency, uh, being accepted in over 180 countries. This again. All right, that's time. Okay. So I would like to reiterate that um, Bitcoin is not as sound as investment as uh, the stock market is for several reasons. First of all, um, whenever you purchase Bitcoin on such um, platforms as Coinbase or Binance or uh, GDAX, you are supposed to you have to supply them with your social security number. Uh, imagine if these platforms were hacked, then the hackers will have your social security information. Uh, this is unsafe for your, for your um, investment in your personal life. Secondly, whenever you uh, invest in Bitcoin, you are adding to the total value of Bitcoin. So the, the, the reason why the value of Bitcoin fluctuates is because people will sell the Bitcoin and then buy the Bitcoin. However, when you invest in Bitcoin, when you're making it more valuable, you are giving more buying power to criminal activities such as illicit purchases on the dark net, uh, such as drugs or child pornography. In January 2016, criminals took control of the Lincolnshire County uh, City, uh, Council County Council's computers with ransomware and unsuccessfully demanded $500 of Bitcoin. Uh, and in November 2015, three Greek banks were reportedly threatened with dire consequences by a group of cyber criminals called the Arm Armada Collective unless they paid hundreds of thousands of euros in, in Bitcoin. This shows that Bitcoin is largely becoming a burgeoning currency for illicit for uh, criminal activity. These criminals would not have wanted Bitcoin unless they, they were able to use it for their illicit purchases or for their um, consequences. Uh, in 2017, South Korean Bitcoin exchange platform Ubit filed for bankruptcy after being robbed of nearly a fifth of its clients' investments. This shows that Bitcoin investments are not safe uh, in the hands of um, investors. Bitcoin, uh, in, in another point I would like to make is that Bitcoin can easily be replaced by other uh, cryptocurrencies such as Ethereum, Ripple, or Litecoin, which boast uh, higher transaction rates, uh, quicker um, uh, problem-solving uh, codes, um, which shows that Bitcoin is uh, largely, while it may, while the technology of blockchain may be burgeoning, uh, block, uh, Bitcoin is um, most likely going to be obsolete as um, an, as a coin very soon. Ethereum is is um, looked to overtake um, Bitcoin within the decade. So this shows that while you can invest in Bitcoin. Investing in the stock market gives more freedom as to which um, uh, stock you would like to invest in. Uh, 
So you have more freedom in the stock market than you do just investing in Bitcoin, which is only one coin. Um, the reality is that Bitcoin is also slow. When solving the, the hash rate of SHA-256, um, it's that's um, at which is how it works the blockchain. Um, it shows that it's not able to uh, work that that transaction as quickly as regular uh, transactions or as a, as other cryptocurrencies as we have seen. So Bitcoin may be easily replaced by a better cryptocurrency. Um, and then also another point that I would like to make is that the, uh, investing in the stock market invests in real businesses, whereas investing in Bitcoin is only uh, investing in, in a um, uh, what we in the business call um, uh, an abstract form of currency. Whereas if you invest in the stock market, then you can invest in businesses and benefit real people in real time. Um, so I would like to reiterate that um, uh, the decentralized, while decentralization may may be a benefit of um, of Bitcoin, it also means that the government cannot partake in counter cyclical uh, in um, tools that it uses. All right, it's time for our second crossfire, friends. You, did, you said something about uh, Bitcoin card. You uh, provide social security. Can you provide the social security. Uh, well, actually, I um, Coinbase, one, one of um, Coinbase and GDAX, which are the the main forms that of uh, of uh, exchange requires a social your social security number to um, uh, um, to actually verify that you are spending your money not somebody else's. Okay, so, so if you go onto Coinbase right now and try to make an account, then you then you will see that you are required to have a um, a uh, so you they need to put down your social security number. Would you, would you say that's the same with uh, regular bank accounts though? Yes, but with regular bank accounts, it's um, more more insured. For instance, Coinbase is just a website. Okay. Um, I'm, from my research, I'm yet to hear uh, a case of identity theft when it comes to Bitcoin as a bank account. I've had, uh, seen a lot of cases. I was actually the victim of uh, identity theft in the bank, so that's... Uh, so uh, you said that uh, Bitcoin is a universal language. Yes, can, can, you, a, can you uh, no Can you... Can you, um, By that I mean it's universally accepted. If you look at it, Bitcoin is going to be uh, right now using. You say that Bitcoin is universally accepted. I can yeah. go to Target right now and, and spend Bitcoin. Well, I mean, obviously it's a growing, it's a growing uh, entity. But when you look at it, uh, you can't, you can't. Right now, you can't leave the United States and use the dollar in Japan. Can you? No. But you can go to Japan right now and use Bitcoin to purchase it. At the at the corner store. I mean, obviously it's a, there's a the, uh, good places that will accept Bitcoin. As of you going right now to Japan, and you will not use the dollar for anything. But I guarantee you right now to go to Japan, and I can use Bitcoin to purchase something. Now, you said that Bitcoin fraud is impossible, but uh, what about the cases where uh, people have cracked the, SA, the, the hash code and made their own Bitcoin? Can you provide the source for that, please? No. Uh, you said that... Because um, yeah, I did hear you say uh, Bitcoin uh, was cracked, so please provide the source for that. So You said uh, crimes are often with Bitcoin, right? Uh, stock market is the same thing. It's, uh, it's had, it has a history of embezzlement. Um, uh, again, taking back to 2008 when it crushed. Uh, so most of the, the, actually, the main reason it crushed is because of embezzlement. That's probably why a lot of uh, uh, investors lost a lot of stock. Market. But there's a difference between people abusing the system and people using the system as it is for their own gain. When, and in one case, uh, if you're using the currency as it is uh, for your own illicit purposes. All right, that's time. We're moving to our summary speakers. Third speaker summary in this one. Several other millionaires find Bitcoin to be the next smartest form of currency because it is free of government manipulation and there is little room for things such as embezzlement as we spoke of before, which often occur on the stock market. The amount of expert testimony behind this phenomenon makes it easy to side with Bitcoin, though it may be a risk 
So are investments. Anything involving money and hopes of return is a risk. And our plan is backed by advocates who recognize the inherent value of Bitcoin as well as the risk. These advocates, many of them being some of the top leaders not only in this country, but in the world. Um, software entrepreneur John McAfee is one of the world's biggest advocates for cryptocurrency that is Bitcoin. He stated in 2017, and I quote, Bitcoin is still a crypto giant. It has the lowest circulating supply of any coin. There is not, there is no online cryptocurrency that is as, as successful as Bitcoin. Also, Ripple CEO uh, Garlinghouse, Brad Garlinghouse, spoke about the swings of cryptocurrency on CNBC in 2017, saying that one of the things that we all have to remember is the value of a token over a long term is really going to be driven by its utility. Um, and that there's no question that there's a lot of hype in the system. Hype meaning that there's a lot of people willing to back this new form of currency because of the inherent fact that you will not have to worry about the things that you have to look into, or as he spoke about, in banks or with cards that um, could lead to identity theft, that could lead to you having to open new bank accounts because of your money being stolen. Uh, Peter Diamonds, uh, founder and chairman of XPRIZE Foundation, says that, and I quote, at its core, Bitcoin is a smart currency designed by very forward-thinking engineers. It eliminates the need for banks, gets rid of credit card fees, currency exchange fees, money transfer fees, and reduces the need for lawyers and transition. It supplies all good things. Are you done? Okay, you have two minutes left. Okay. All right. That means we move on to our summary speech. Um, the stock market ownership takes advantage of a growing economy. Um, as, it, as the economy grows, um, so do the corporate things. Um, as far as Bitcoin goes, um, the only way it'll grow is people invest in it, um, which can go down a lot sometimes. Um, if you look at the value of it, the peak was 20000 and at one point it drastically dropped to around fifteen, um, thirteen. Um, and right now it's currently valued at 8000 around 8000 which is not that much. Um, the stock market is also um, the best way to um, stay ahead of inflation. Um, historically, stocks have averaged an annual return of 10%. Um, that's better than the average annual inflation rate of 3.2%. Um, also, um, stocks are a lot easier to buy than Bitcoin. Um, the stock market uh, makes it easy to, bear sh to buy shares of a company, although it might be um, difficult to understand sometimes. Um, it is um, easier in the sense of actually obtaining those um, those stocks than it is a Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. um, um, also, the stock market, uh, most investors tend to buy low and then sell high. Um, so it is a way to make more profit than Bitcoin, because if you buy it for a lower price and sell it for a way higher price, um, then you're obviously making more money, um, which is what we're, um, which is the resolution is a better investment, um, so a more profitable uh, and effective investment, um, and they are also um, stocks are easier to sell. Um, you can sell them at any time. Um, that's important if you suddenly need your cash in a hurry. Um, you can get that money back. As of with Bitcoin, it'll take longer to, re to receive any money um, back. Um, I'm done. Thanks, but you have two minutes left. Um, Um, Bitcoin may be replaced by um, by a cryptocurrency with higher levels of security, privacy, and, or better transaction rates and times. Investment in this coin, uh, which may become obsolete, will diminish returns once a better uh, cryptocurrency replaces it. Uh, possible replacements to Bitcoin include Ether, which runs on its own decentralized network called Ethereum and has shorter transaction times. Um,
Um, Bitcoin could also make it hard for governments to fight recessions, which they typically do by using the econom uh, economist called uh, counter-cyclical monetary and fiscal policy. Central banks slash um, interest rates, and as the Federal Reserve did after the 2008 financial crisis, um, pump money into the system by buying assets. Um, and governments try to get the economy moving again by cutting taxes and increasing spending, typically paying for that by borrowing money as with the Obama-era stimulus package. Um, to use bitcoins, um, individuals must, stamp, um, must establish a bitcoin wallet on a computer. Um, the wallet contains nothing more than a regularly updated file, um, showcasing all bitcoin transactions ever made. Bitcoins can be transmitted to other users' uh, wallets using a combination of public and private key cryptology. Um, Alright, that's time. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our grand crossfire. Everybody plays! Um, okay, can you provide sources for the percentages that you mentioned? Yes, uh, Dwyer in 2014, his, uh, his article, um, and then in an uh, article on CNN, and then an article in uh, Technology Today, an article in um, Fortune uh, Online. Can you provide sources for any of your claims. We can't just ask for a general thing and then not, not ask me for... We have percentages. For, 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 for which percentage? For the ones that he mentions, actually he mentioned several, um, as far as like return and the risk involving Bitcoin, which is why we ask for percentages. I believe was it was 3.2 percentages or something like that. Is there anything specific that you wanted me to source? <clears throat> um, do you believe that um, Bitcoin is the future? Absolutely. So, do you have Bitcoin? I have not invested in it. I can't say that I have, but I do have friends that have. I and have. I've invested in Bitcoin. And, um, uh, I'm, I'm talked about how the how Bitcoin is going to be obsolete in the future, and I find that interesting considering that Bitcoin is one of the biggest uh, investments in cryptocurrency. But what was the comparison that the source made uh, with Bitcoin and then Ethereum? Well, Ethereum uh, runs its, it's on its own decentralized network, so um, the same as Bitcoin, right? No, Bitcoin doesn't run on its own uh, decentralized network. Ethereum is different because. Um, it uses different uh, sources of, of, of uh, computers will run its own uh, network um, using uh, the, the... So what, what's the value of Ethereum right now compared to Bitcoin? I, I can't get okay. so okay. um, Also, in the same way that the stock market group, we're talking about a lack of growth with Bitcoin, but we have to understand also that Bitcoin's only been around for a few years, whereas the stock market has been around for decades now. And also, I'm pretty sure that the stock market, when it started, was not anywhere near as, quote-unquote, secure as what it, you are stating that it is today. Could you back that? Could you agree with that? Uh, could you repeat the question? So, the question is, could you say that Bitcoin, with it being a newer form of currency and the stock market being around for as many years as it has, do you think that, that has something to do with the amount of, quote-unquote, security that the stock market has over Bitcoin? I can tell you that I think the re that because Bitcoin is so new, that is why it's so dangerous. And the fact that it's not backed up by the government has a lot of people. Okay. <clears throat> All right. It's time for our final focus speeches. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, what was it? Like, two, three minutes? Four minutes. Four minutes. Mm -hmm. Is it okay if I set my own timer? Yeah, of course. Of course. speech, what I want to do is basically boil all the arguments down that the negative team has made, clarify them, and then bring us all back to the affirmative ground as to why 
Bitcoin is a better investment than the stock market. Now, before we get into these specific arguments, I want to talk about one main point that was dropped by the negative team completely, and that was the large amount of advocacy that was backed by our plan. We're not the only ones that are saying Bitcoin is better than the stock market, or for college students, you can't take our word for it. You have to take the experts' word for it, such as the Google chairman that talked about how Bitcoin was the future of cryptocurrencies, and it's worth the investments and the growth that has potential in, which was completely, like I said, unresponded by the negative team. So that, that argument flows to the affirmative side. There are three main arguments that I think that the negative team's um, entire strategy can be boiled down to, and the first one was that Bitcoin is risky. And I would say that was probably the majority of the argumentation that they're making, so I want to um, completely address this argument right now with three responses. My first response is that investments is always a risk. So regardless of whether you're investing in Bitcoin or you're investing in the stock market, the fact is that there's always a conscious risk that you're going to take. The question is, is, is this risk worth it? Well, according to senior editor Forbes magazine, Steve Schaefer, in January of 2016, quote, some of the stock market's best investors over the long term, like Warren Buffett, Carl Icahn, and their ilk, have placed their biggest bets on companies out of favor or during times of market stress, end quote. My point in making and reading this evidence is simply that just because it's a risk does not necessarily mean it's not worth it or does not necessarily mean that it's not profitable. So um, that argument falls. My second response is that Bitcoin is still rivaling in the stock market. Bitcoin is rivaling in the stock market. According to Sieber and Hall in January 8th, 2018, quote, none of the numerous articles that declare cryptocurrencies are a bubble seem to have any understanding of why it constitutes a bubble. Amazon in 2010 and Apple around 2012 both, both looked high at prices of $100 and $80 and were accused of being bubbles, but at prices of $970 plus, currently at $1,150 or $1, plus and $150 plus, today would, um, one would question the past evaluation. Well, basically what this evidence is saying is it's comparing Bitcoin to that of large companies in the stock market, large companies now, but before they were in the same position as uh, Bitcoin. What the negative team is saying is let's not invest in Bitcoin because it's so new, we have no idea um, you know, if it could even grow. Well, then take that same logic and apply it to any other small company, such as Google and Amazon, when they started it, then they wouldn't be what they are today. So it's taking advantage of those of the potential in that investment and watching a profit grow in the future. That argument goes to the affirmative side. And my third and my final response is that a private city talked about how Bitcoin can be used for child pornography, things like that. Um, but according to MIT Technology Review in August of last year, quote, security experts call it pseudonymous privacy. Basically what they're saying is that uh, while Bitcoin is purchased on a ledger, the fact is is that um, your IP addresses and certain um, personal information, just like with any investment or any purchase, can be traced back to um, the person who uh, you know made that investment. And so, um, even though there is potential for this, um, the fact is is that uh, these criminals can be bought, brought to justice anyway. The second argument they talked about was that stocks are easy to sell. Two responses. First of all, you can pull your investment anytime, just like with any investment. The fact is, is that when you put money into Bitcoin and you start making a profitable return, you can sell these Bitcoins and um, enjoy your uh, profitable return. My second response is actually a turn on to the negative team. This is actually to our advantage because the fact that stocks are easier to sell means that they're not going to be as valued much as Bitcoin, which means we win our criterion of profitable advancement. The fact that Bitcoins are so um, valuable and they're so rare means that they're going to be, um, it's going to have a higher potential for uh, profitable returns. So we win the criterion, we deserve it from a ballot. The final argument they talked about was that Bitcoin is obsolete. Two responses. First of all, there's no stock or value comparison. As I clearly, as I clarified in, in, um, in our crossfire, he can't provide me a comparison of the stocks or um, the cost of them, so this argument lacks clarification, it lacks ease. So all they simply said was that Bitcoin's gonna be obsolete, and that was the end of our argument. When and and um, how is this gonna be obsolete compared to other cryptocurrencies, they simply couldn't say. All right. That means it's time for our final, final focus. Final, final? Final, final. You ready? Yes. Okay. So the affirmative side's arguments are that because it's so easy to make money on Bitcoin, that's why you should invest in it. However, this flies in the face of logic as to why if it would be more if, if it would be safer to invest in, in um, cryptocurrency, or in Bitcoin rather, then why aren't more people doing it? And I, I, I um,
our our arguments are uh, boil down to Bitcoin is maybe easily more easily replaced by cryptocurrency by a different cryptocurrency, which is why it is less of a, of a sound investment than any than in the stock market. It would be more easily replaced by 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 cryptocurrencies which which uh, have higher transaction rates or higher anonymity. One of one of the flaws that you actually mentioned was that any that any purchase can be traced back to you. There are, there are cryptocurrencies which uh, don't have that, um, such as Ripple or um, actually uh, I forget the name, of it. but um, the, these cryptocurrencies. Uh, uh, ha while that anonymity can be used uh, for for bad, that still shows that it has a better advantage over uh, Bitcoin, which shows that it could become a more a, a better investment, which means that investing in Bitcoin uh, is less sound than in investing in that, which means that um, it would become obsolete eventually. It might, it might uh, Bitcoin might be the, the top co coin right now, but it might not be in a few years. Um, I'd also like to address the argument that um, uh, because uh, people who are rich, ba basically we are arguing that because of these people who are rich are saying that you should invest in this in this coin, um, uh, then that's a bad idea. I just I just don't believe that. I just don't believe that we should live our lives by doing what people who we idolize say we should do. Um, so I, I would like I would like to address that. Uh, I would also like to address the idea that um, 